What is going on fellow farmers, CG Farms here, and today we're going to be doing a video on how to install and operate manual attach. Now I know a lot of you see me use this in my videos where I walk up behind the tractors and manually attach the tools. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Guys, before we get in the video, make sure you subscribe if you're new, smash the like button for me, click the bell and click off to never miss any future content or live streams. With that said, guys and girls, once you get to this menu right here, go to your downloadable content and go to the search bar and just type in manual. Oh, and I spelled that completely wrong. Type in manual and you will see it right here. Manual attach. Okay. You're going to want to double click on that. Now there's other manual stuff here. You guys can get into like manual discharge, manual refueling. There's a manual planner, manual wipers. It's uh, I love the stuff that's manual. Um, so double click on manual attach and you want to install it here and it's got your controls here on how to operate it but I'm going to show you how to do that in game okay so once you've got it installed and you go to your downloads and it's not showing here uh, make sure you exit back to the main menu go to career we're going to select this now when you install I say this in every tutorial because I feel like it really needs to be um, covered uh, when you install a new mod uh, it's going to be deselected in this menu by default just like that there's manual attached this is what yours will look like if you're installing this for the first time or if you've uninstalled it now you're reinstalling it okay so what you want to do is go down here and click deselect all and select all because the problem with this menu right here is if your mods are not selected they will not work once you load into the game so make sure again guys you deselect all and select all and click start and we're going to load in I'm going to take you guys to the video and show you how this works. It's it's a very simple mod. So I'm going to go into the game. I'm going to get set up with a, with, a, with a few different tractors and, and hookups. And I will bring you guys back to the video once I'm done setting up. All right. So I bought a few different types of uh, attachments here to show you guys that there is different types of attachments. Uh, for example, uh, on the bellers here, you have to hook up the cables uh, and this little thing. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the PTO. Uh, this is called the PTO. You got to hook up the PTO and the cables. Now, on some of the headers, not all of them, just keep those in mind, on some of them, you have to hook up the cables and the PTO, and some of them just the PTO, and some of them just the cables, okay? So those can kind of vary. Um, and um, with your semis, uh, the trailers will automatically hook up, but with a double trailer like this, you have to go in the back and make sure that these cables are attached. There's cables there that will show up once you hook up, and you have to make sure those are attached, okay? I believe that's the trailer. So let's go ahead and hop on the tractor here. And we're going to hook up to, um, actually, let's get this one out of the way. Let me start this. We're going to get this big trailer out of the way. I'm going to show you guys this one first. So let's pull up. Now you will see when I back up to this trailer that it will give me an indication to hook up the trailer, right? Just like that. So we're going to hook up. Now we're going to pull it out of the way and I'm going to show you something here. Now notice how slow the tractor is, the the, tra the semi is pulling the trailers, right? There's a reason why. This is because the cables are not attached. If you walk up here and hold down the Z key, I believe it's right here. There it is, hold down the Z key and do the same in the middle of the trailer. Walk up, hold down the Z key, just like that. I believe that's hooked up. That's hooked up there. And the back, I don't think you have to do anything. But if for some reason you walk up for the first time and it doesn't work, okay, let's just say I walk up and I hold the Z key and it doesn't attach the cables or I tap the Z key to hook up the PTOs and it doesn't work, all you got to do is back up a little bit, go back to the vehicle and do it again. So we're going to hold down the Z key to hook up cables. A little closer. There it is. So you hold down the Z to hook up cables you tap the Z to hook up your PTOs. Okay, now if we hop back in after hook up the cables, you'll see it's going to pull this trailer a whole lot better. See that? So if you're ever pulling a trailer slow, think about getting out and checking your cables because if they're not hooked up after installing this mod, that's the reason why it's not working properly, okay? So we're going to park this right over here. I'm going to hop out, and we're going to go back over to the tractor. And we are going to hop in here, and we're going to back up to this trailer right here. Now, this, was, this will not give us an indication to hook up, okay? We will have to back up so far about like that right there. And then hop out, and we will have to hook it up manually. Now, you walk up with controller. It's going to show you left bumper and the start menu. On the keyboard, it is the Q key to hook it up, okay? 
And then to hook up your cables is hold down the Z, right? Z is in zebra. And again, back up. Go back to it. There it is. There's no PTO, so you ain't got to worry about that. And then once you hop back into the tractor, you can now pull that trailer, okay? But if those cables are unhooked, that trailer will not dump. It will not tip over. It will not work properly, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is the harvester. We're going to unhook that here in just a minute and come back to it, okay? we got to hook up that beller. Let's hop into the harvester, and we're going to unfold this as if we're going to work, okay? And we're going to back up. Now, this will also give you an indication when you pull up to the header to hook up to it just like you're in regular attach mode, okay? And if you guys ever want to disable this in game, I will show you how to do it. As a matter of fact, I'll show you how to do that real quick, guys. Go into your pause menu, your escape menu, and go down to this little setting, the settings cog is. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see manual attach right here. You can enable it and disable it right here anytime in game, okay? I recommend keeping it on for the realism, but that is how you do that. So back to the harvester, we're going to pull up to the header, and it's going to give us an indication to hook up. Now we're going to hook up, and we're going to pull forward a little bit so I can get out of the way of this bell, and I can show you guys how to hook up this PTO. Now, I don't think it will open. Let me see if we got to hook up the PTO. So you, you tap the Z and the PTO hooks up. Now, let's hit the cables need to be hooked up. I don't think you got to hook up any cables. I'm going to try it again. Yep, just the PTO. So to hook up the PTO, you walk up and you tap the Z as in zebra right there, okay? That will hook it up. Now, if you do not have this hooked up properly, your harvester will not work properly, okay? This will allow your header. Now, you can open your header without the PTO being hooked up. You cannot run the header without the PTO being hooked up, okay? And I believe if I unhook that PTO. Oh, let me try it again. All right, now let me try to run it. Yeah, see, I'm trying to turn it on, guys, and it will not turn on. It will fold. It will fold and all that good stuff, but it will not turn on. Without that PTO hooked up, you cannot turn your harvester on. So just keep that in mind, okay? Let's go and hop back in here. We're going to pull this up here, and we're going to shut it. Shut it down. Excuse me, guys. All right, so there's the uh, harvester and the header. Now, that works with the crop headers as well, not just the corn headers. So keep that in mind. Now, to unhook this, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to walk up, hold down Z to unhook the cables, tap the Q to unhook the trailer, okay? We're going to hop back in. We're going to go around the bell, and I'm going to show you how to hook up cables and a PTO. Uh, si uh, not simultaneously, but, but almost at the same time. So we are going to back up to this right here. We're going to get to that right there, and we're going to hop out. And again, you're going to walk up. Now remember, before you hook up anything at all, you have to attach the attachment. It will not, if you try to, if you try to hold on the Z, it will not let you do it, okay? It will not. you got to hit the Q. You're going to hold Z to hook up your cables, tap Z to hook up the PTO, okay? And again, uh, without those attachments being hooked up, your beller will not work properly, so make sure everything is hooked up properly, okay? Now I'm going to show you one more thing here. Okay, so again, you cannot detach this. You cannot detach this without, without the PTO and cables being detached first, okay? So if I hit the Q to detach the beller, you see there, this is detached PTO. So we're going to hold down the Z to detach the cables, tap the Z to detach the PTO. And then hit the Q. It's going to attach that. And this is just more or less for realism of the game, guys. If you want realism of the game, then install this mod. I highly recommend it. All right, so there's a couple more uh, trailers here I want to give you, for example, that does not have a PTO but has cables only, okay? All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to hook this trailer up. And I'm going to get in and try to let that arm down. So the arm will go down, but you cannot pick up bells unless those cables are attached okay so keep that in mind all right and that's how you do that of course again hold down z to detach the cables and q to detach the trailer all right one more here we're going to show you this one and that's pretty much all i need to show you guys was just that those few different attachments um if you have any questions in the comments you come on different attachments please please feel free to ask me in the comments um i do answer comments on a regular basis over here uh so over here again hold down z this only has a cable. Oh, we got to hit the Q first, then hold down Z, and there's your cable. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, and also, if you have an auto load trailer, this one I'm, I'm operating right here is an auto load trailer. 
if those cables are not hooked up, that auto load will not work. It will not work properly. So make sure you're hooking up your cables and your PTO, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with that being said, everyone, that's going to do it. Subscribe to your news. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click off so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, everyone, this is CJ Farms. And one cop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.